And welcome back. Well, Earth Day is Friday, one of my favorite days, and it's a chance to stop and take a look at ways we can take better care of our planet. Recycling is one way, but a Minnesota business owner says there's much more that can be done. Joining us this morning is Deepender Singh, CEO and founder of 75F, which is short for 75 Fahrenheit. Uh, good morning. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you, too. Um, so tell us, what is 75F for those that have never heard of it? We are actually an HVAC controls company that lets everyone in the office have uh, their own individual temperature control while saving about 50% uh, in energy costs. That, that's impressive. So yes. basically you just take the HVAC system in, in a, a standard business because right. some people think it's cold, some people think it's hot. Right. You put little modules in every room and it right. basically controls it better, right? It controls it better. One of the key things that we found is that the HVAC systems that we have right now are very, very reactive. Okay. Right, so it's kind of like driving down a highway, but looking in the rear view mirror. Oh, okay. Right. So uh, what we do is we actually put in these room modules, but our claim to fame is really we take all of this information and we load it to servers in the cloud. And every You're night... using the cloud, I like that. The, right. So you like clouds. So, so <laughs> I do like clouds. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> right. So in this case, uh, what we do is we actually crunch that data, we create a thermal model of the building, and then we look at the weather forecast that you give. All right, you're watching <laughs> right. us, all right. Right, and then we predict what the building is going to be doing the next day. Now, do you take into account, so every business is going to be different. Every right. business is shaped differently. Every sure. business has different amount of people at different times. Sure. Do you take all that into account? Absolutely. So uh, we get about 700 uh, uh, variables that we log in every 30 seconds. Every, wow. <laughs> right. So it's a lot of big data, as it's called, right? But, but the idea is to crunch that and actually make a useful, meaningful model out of it and then what we do is based on the on the forecast we predict we once we predicted what the b building is going to be doing we figure out an optimal control strategy right we send it back into the building and we make sure that we do things in a proactive manner so your hvac system as an example is not fighting the weather oh, that's really yeah. impressive and you, do you base it off of day and night as well and how many people right. are in and who's sleeping and all that good stuff uh, oh, it's a, uh, hopefully nobody's sleeping in their office. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good point. Right. I was thinking more household <laughs> use, but yes. <laughs> right, absolutely. But uh, yes, we do. I mean, so we look at all the trending information that we have in terms of how the building itself is breathing and behaving, uh -huh. and we take all of these factors into account. And, and one of the key things over here is that, I mean, there is, there is a lot of variability in how your building is going to be reacting during the day. You know, in the morning, the east part of the building gets more solar gain. Mm -hmm. So it's going to rise up in temperature. Mm -hmm. As the sun moves over in the later part of the day, the west gets hammered with solar gain. Mm -hmm. So that rises up, right? Or as an example, in a restaurant, you might actually have people coming in during the lunch hour, and that causes a shift in the load within the building. Oh, wow. All right, so what you really need is a system that learns and adapts and then can predict based on that how the building is going to be behaving the next day so you can actually control things in advance. Wow, and everyone stays comfortable. What a right. concept. Right. I think Leah and I are too cold and I'm usually too hot and uh, we're, none of us are comfortable. I mean, <laughs> that's a very well documented <laughs> fact, right? I mean, yes. the, the gender wars oh, on, on the so thermostat. Right? Now, you have a unique story on how, this, on how you got the idea for this. Tell us about that. Right. Uh, we actually moved to Mankato when my daughter was about a month old. Okay. And when she was a year, uh, we actually put her in her own bedroom. Mm -hmm. And what would happen is that uh, she would wake up in the middle of the night crying. And what we figured out is that basically uh, the thermostat was in the master bedroom, mm -hmm. but her room temperatures in her uh, room would drop about 10 degrees, so she would be uncomfortable, oh. and she'd wake up crying. Now, as a self-respecting engineer, you actually have to form a company to solve the problem, so <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what I did. <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. Now, you can, you can get these devices not only for business. Can you get them in your house as well if you have... Is, say an, an sure. abnormal size house or you don't have shade in certain areas, can you right. control house as well? We originally started on the residential side and then we moved oh. away a little bit. So now, right now we're focusing on the light commercial m market because that's actually been hugely underserved. 90% mm -hmm. right? of the buildings in the U.S. are actually light commercial market. So we keep, when we look at a commercial building, we keep thinking of New York's skyline. Oh, of course. Right, but as I said, 90% of the buildings are actually the low rises which actually look more like a house. Uh -huh. So our technology, as it stands now, is applicable to new construction in, in residences, and that's one of the things we're actually doing right now with city homes. That's really cool. And on Earth Day, you have a, a couple of announcements of new clients, correct? That's right, absolutely so. Excellent. Yeah. It's just so. technology everywhere now, and it's good that we can use it and use our typical thermostat and have it in, well, you call it modules, but right. use it in different rooms and finally we can get some comfortability out there like it. Right, I mean, the key is 
I mean, we keep thinking of renewables have grabbed a lot of the of the attention, but mm. ultimately the abatement cost of energy efficiency is so much lower versus putting in a non-fossil fuel fuel uh, energy alternate, hmm. right? So I mean, being energy efficient never goes out of style. Right. And so. it's in fact, it's even more in style now than it ever has been. Right. We're, we're out of time. Thank sure. you, Deepinder Singh, CEO and founder of 75F. We appreciate you being here. Nice to meet you and good luck to you.